It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm Roland Boyden, and this is 5.45 Live. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the bank robbery up north in Bellows Falls. The skate park gets approved early this morning, and another pedestrian auto accident. All that and more, and I'm going to try and do it all in 15 minutes, so make sure you stick with us here on 5.45 Live. <laughs> You probably know that this year, 2012, is a leap year. And that means that this year we get an extra day on February 29th. People born on February 29th on some previous leap year, also known as leaplings, they care because they finally get to celebrate their real birthday. But for the rest of us, it's just a day like any other day. whoop de doo So why do we go to all the trouble to have a leap year? All right, and welcome to this uh, February 29th, 2012 edition of 545 Live. It's a leap day. Uh, a little bit of the uh, clip we'll be looking at there. Uh, hopefully we'll get more of that at the end of the show as well. All right, we'll start with the bank robbery in Bellows Falls that uh, happened in the middle of yesterday afternoon. The suspects uh, made off with an undisclosed amount of money after uh, robbing the People's United Bank in Bellows Falls. Um, they fled on foot and have not been apprehended uh, at a press conference yesterday. Vermont State Police Lieutenant Rick Hopkins updated folks. The suspects involved were not found. There are two individuals we are looking for. The subjects fled on foot in opposite directions, um, and that's what we have this time. So what we're looking for is if anybody had any information, if anybody saw anything, you know, in the area at the time uh, that they contact the police, they can either contact the Bellas Falls Police, uh, which is 463-1234, or they can call the barracks at 875-2192. Officers from the Bellows Falls, Vermont State Police, uh, Walpole Police Departments, and Cheshire County all responded to the scene. They're looking for information, as he mentioned at that press conference. Anyone that uh, perhaps saw anything should give them a call. All right, and moving on tragic news with another pedestrian auto accident uh, on Monday night that left an 84-year-old resident uh, in critical condition. That's prompted town officials to take a close look uh, at pedestrian safety in the community. Monday's accident comes just days after local resident Gary Lumbra was struck and killed on Canal Street by a passing motorist. Uh, according to town manager Barb Sondag, this is the ninth pedestrian auto accident in Brattleboro in the last nine months, with the 16 accidents reported in 2011, nearly doubling since 2010. And with four already in 2012, the town is on track for another dramatic spike. After a special meeting yesterday, town manager Barb Sondag released an official statement saying... Quote, while the committee did not identify any pattern or specific problem, there was a discussion of an educational campaign. The committee voted to instruct staff to develop and present back an educational program. So uh, it looks like the approach there is going to try and be uh, to educate people about pedestrian safety. Um, and it, you know, incumbent on both uh, drivers and pedestrians to stay safe when crossing roadways. There was a lot of discussion as well about how budget cuts have uh, meant that the crosswalk lines in town are not painted as regularly, though uh, Sondag did point out that this has happened now four years running and doesn't seem to have, uh, maybe is not the specific uh, culprit here. Anyway, we'll... Uh, Keep you posted as the town uh, develops this educational plan, um, and hopefully in the meantime, everyone out there can stay safe both on the road and on foot. All right, uh, next in the surprise move, Entergy has filed its own appeal, asking Judge Jay Garvin Murtha to reopen the highly publicized case that was ultimately ru uh, ruled in favor of the Louisiana-based uh, energy giant, uh, allowing the Vermont Yankee power plant to remain open past the expiration of their original operating license, even after state legislation was passed that would have forced the plant closed in March. Uh, the state has filed its own appeal that would take the case to the Second Circuit in New York, and Appeal Energy is appealing. And if that's uh, appealing enough for you, uh, find out more uh, with all the info on that case posted at sanders.senate.gov. Bernie Sanders has put up um, all of Judge Jay Garvin Murtha's document up there, Act 160, um, the uh, official um, Atomic Energy Act, the, some say, um, ironclad act that is prohibiting the state from uh, dictating terms to Vermont Yankee. Um, that is all up on his website. But basically, Entergy's lawyers um, 
uh, Monday night uh, released a statement asking that the, the case be reopened to provide more clarity. Um, they're worried about what they call a loophole that would uh, allow the state to close the plant anyway because of a lack of storage space, which they were not approved to expand. All right, uh, moving on this morning, the Brattleboro Select Board officially approved um, a plan for the Brattleboro Area Skate Park. This has uh, been a long time coming, uh, included some mediation, uh, hotly contested with local residents um, voicing some serious concerns, but it looks like the town has in fact approved this plan. All right, uh, next, the latest from Shumlin looks like good news from the state. Uh, we're starting to see a slow but steady recovery. We had great conversations in terms of Vermont about uh, our efforts to ensure that we have more college graduates, that we have more of our high school students getting credit for college while they're in high school, and uh, that we continue to train a workforce for the 21st century jobs. All right, we'll have to jump into weather ever so briefly as the clock ticks down to 6 p.m. when you can switch over to the regular nightly world news. So uh, with that, we'll jump into our um, weather and traffic report ever so quickly uh, and talk about of course we mentioned uh, the snow is coming down uh, according to uh, the weather channel this storm is going to peak within the next hour and will taper off uh, in the middle of the night sometime early tomorrow morning uh, give people a chance to plow roads should be clear by tomorrow for your trek to work um, we'll quickly take a look at what's going on in downtown Brattleboro here of course high street to canal street the rough section red means that it's uh Traffic is uh, basically at a standstill. Orange, heavily congested, but moving, and green is in the good to go. So if you're going north on Putney Road, you're flying. Uh, coming south down Putney Road, going out Western Ave. Canal Street uh, or headed to Keene are all uh, heavily congested. But despite weather, 91 seems to be moving. All right, uh, we've got this uh, great image of the Wyndham County Sheriff's Office up behind us on the screen. Um, Take a look at that uh, as we uh, provide our outro for BCTV and 545 Live. I'm Roland Boyden saying good night, everybody. One full day is actually how long it takes for the Earth to spin around exactly once. And a year is how long it takes for the Earth to orbit the Sun exactly once. So while the Earth orbits around the Sun in a full year, it spins around 365.25 times. In other words, one full year equals 365.25 days. This is called the astronomical year. But here's the problem. Our calendar year is only 365 days. And that's because there's really no way to have a 0.25 day. And so those extra 0.25 days, they just keep accumulating. And what they do is make it so that the stars slowly drift out of sync with our calendar. So this is where leap year comes in to save the day. Every year we set aside those 0.25 days until the fourth year when they equal one full day. And then on that fourth year, we put that extra day on February 29th and we call it leap day. Bam, we're back in sync. That's why February 29th exists.